YouTube, this is Shakira back with another video and I am going to tell you all how I started my own business and became my own boss at 15 years old. I don't need a boyfriend, so you can go back, please enjoy your party, I'll be here. Oh, okay. If you're looking to start a business, this is the perfect video for you because I am only 15 years old and I have started my own business and it is flourishing already. And I'm just going to tell you guys how I got into the process and some of the difficulties I had along the way. And I'm just going to be talking to you guys on how you can do it yourself. The first thing I had to do and what you will have to do too is figure out what you want to sell. And in order to figure out what you want to sell, you have to figure out yourself and you have to figure out what you like to do. And for me, that was clothing. And also, you have to engage in your followers and you have to figure out what your followers like wearing or seeing as well. It's good that if you're selling something that you like, but you also have to pay attention to your audience and your followers and you have to communicate with them to see what they like as well because if you don't have an audience then you have no one to buy your product so that's the first thing I had to do um it took a while for me to realize that's what I wanted to do because I was kind of hesitant about it at first but then once I you know I, I kind of I've been thinking about doing this for about two years now but as I got older I started to realize that some it has to be done regardless so I can either do it now or never do it at all so that's just when I decided to um, start to sell my clothing once you once you figure out what you want to sell of course you have to figure out a name and you have to figure out a name that is catchy and that everyone is gonna remember it's okay to have a longer business name but it's better if you keep it short and simple also make sure that it's unique in your own way to where it's easy for people to remember that it's yours just figure out a good name for your company and make sure that it's unique and um try not to mimic other big companies try to make something up of your own because that's what is going to make people remember you if you are different and it's unique then people are going to remember that it's your business and they're gonna eventually go to your page to see you know what your business is about and then once you figure out the name that you want for your company you also have to get into your colors um I really like the color gold, so that's why I kind of shifted over towards that gold side. But if you like pink, then you might want to incorporate some colors that match with pink. And it's better to have maybe two to three colors and stay consistent with those colors in the beginning because that's another way for people to remember that it's your business and you know stuff like that and also when you um when you start to figure out what your colors are make sure that the colors coordinate with each other because you don't want to have um colors that are green and and i don't know but make sure that the colors match well with each other and would go good on products because you don't want a mismatch color scheme so whatever color scheme you do just make sure that it's consistent and it goes and blends well with each other and then after you figure out your name and your colors and all that jazz you have to have a logo and your logo i cannot stress this enough your logo is what's going to build the foundation of your business you have to have a really really nice and sleek logo because that should be the first thing that people notice when they go to your account or whenever they are whenever they're looking for your business your logo should be the first thing that they see and it should be the last thing that they see when it comes down to packaging to your website to your social media accounts even to the product that you're selling let's say you want to sell lashes clothing bundles it, it does not matter your logo should be the first thing people see when they go to your account or to your social medias or whatever and it should be the last thing they see when they leave when it comes down to ordering and packaging and all that i cannot stress this enough if you do not have a logo then you do not have a good enough foundation for your business so if you're trying to start a business then you need to make sure you have a nice and sleek logo i cannot stress this enough please i repeat Please have a logo for your company. That is the most important thing when it comes to marketing and when it comes to selling your product, a logo.
So if you don't remember anything from this video, make sure you remember to have a good logo. And once you have your logo, you want to, of course, make your social media accounts to, you know, get your name out there before you start selling your products because like I said earlier in this video, if you don't have an audience, then you have no one to sell your products to. So make sure that you are, um, you know, interacting with your followers, making social media accounts for your business so that people know where to go when they're getting ready to purchase the products or place an order. The hardest part for me when I was getting into selling my clothing was finding um, a good vendor. Vendors are very, very, very hard to come across. Well, no, let me rephrase that. A vendor is easy to come across, but a good vendor is extremely, extremely, extremely hard to come across. Most vendors just want to make money off of you and they don't care how it looks. You have to test your, um, you have to test a couple vendors out. It might, you might lose money from the vendors, but if you follow these steps and you stay consistent with your business, then you will make that money back that you spent on bad vendors. When it came to my vendor, it took a very, very, very long time for me to find one. Um, just because you just have to take your time when it comes to this part because no one wants to buy bad products from you. If they'll see your product at first and then when they purchase it, and they see that it's starting to fade or it's starting to tangle, they're not gonna wanna shop with you again. So that's why it's so important to have a nice, solid, high quality vendor no matter what you're doing. You always wanna have a good vendor. And once you have a vendor, you have to put a budget together. You have to say, okay, I wanna spend this much money on shipping. I wanna spend this much money on a product. I wanna spend such and such money on marketing. And you have to put that budget together and make it into one to where when you get ready to sell your products, you'll be it'll be easier for you to add and subtract your profit because if you're having a business, then obviously you wanna make money, but you have to get your budget together and you have to see how much profit you wanna make and such and such. And another thing you have to, um, another really important thing you have to consider when you're starting your business is the packaging and the shipping labels. The packaging should really look nice because that's what people are looking at as soon as they receive their package or as soon as they receive the product is the um, is the packaging. Your packaging is very important. Make sure your packaging is eye-catching and make sure that it incorporates your logo or whatever your business is. You know, make sure that you can see that on the outside of your package. You really just have to explore with the packaging too because there are a lot of great, great packaging um, options and it can really stay in a nice budget as well. So you just have to make sure you look around for good packaging labels and shipping and all that jazz. And then once you have everything together, you have to come up with a marketing plan. Marketing is basically drawing the right crowd to your business. And this is not hard. There are a bunch of a bunch of marketing skills out there. You just have to figure out which one is right and easiest for you to, you know, do. But once you get your marketing together and you get your logos and your packaging and your right vendors, you should be good to go for your business. I don't know everything about starting a business, but this is what I did and this is what really helped me. And now I am very successful with my business. And you just have to keep, you know, keep pushing because it's not going to be easy at first. You know, you still have to get your name out there. You still have to convince people to buy your products and you have to build trust with your customers and you have to build a relationship with them in order for them to come back to you. But I think I'm going to stop this video here. If you want me to go more in depth on how I started my business, just let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace.